Good morning, Falcons. I'm Courtney. And I'm Maddie. We have a new and exciting show for you. Maddie, what do we have coming up? We're marching into an action packed episode of Falcon TV with two stories about why Carlsbad is so good. One segment about Carlsbad Sports and Dylan, the man on the street. That sounds like a great show. Let's get it rolling. And Falcon TV starts right now. Welcome back. Carlsbad High School basketball has had its own version of March Madness, winning the San Diego CIF Championship and advancing to the CIF Regionals. Dylan is here for a more in-depth breakdown of the Carlsbad sports scene. Hello Falcons, I'm Dylan Castle and welcome to our STN edition of the Sports Update. We have a lot of must-watch games that are upcoming, so let's dive in. First of all, let's keep it local with CHS. They have a basketball playoff game against 30-3 Harvard Westlake. This is going to be a powerhouse matchup if I've ever seen one. The Lancers themselves are 30-2, and two, so both teams are evenly matched. Also, the collegiate basketball season is winding down as we get closer and closer to Selection Sunday. ESPN has the Purdue Boilermakers as the number one seed, but I'm not so sure. Houston has been underestimated many times this season, but they have always pulled through, so they're my pick to win it all. I guess we'll just have to wait and see what the NCAA committee thinks. Moving over to MLB spring training, this year has been a rough start for San Diego. The four and six Padres are near the bottom of the Cactus League. I know that the games are meaningless, but if this is any sign of how the team is going to perform during real games, it's going to be another tough season for the swing and Friars. The Dodgers, meanwhile, look unstoppable. The combination of Betts, Otani, and Freeman is working out just as they hoped. They lead the Cactus League with a 6-2 and two record and have already steamrolled the Padres 14-1. to one. Next, the NBA this year has been a whirlwind of a season. You have your usual contenders, the Celtics, the Bucks, the Nuggets, and then you have complete surprises like OKC and Minnesota, who are battling for the top seed of the Western Conference. Also, the Golden State Warriors could be in danger of missing the playoffs as the dynamic trio of Curry, Thompson, and Green is showing signs of crumbling. Finally, the NHL. Similar to the NBA, some surprising teams have leaped up in the standing. The Vancouver Canucks, for example, are 38-17 and 17 after finishing 38-37 and 37 the previous season. Number one pick Connor Bedard has shined for Chicago, but the Blackhawks remain at the bottom of the league record-wise, similar to Wemby and the Spurs. Well, that's all the sports for this week. Now back to the Anchors. Wow, Carlsbad is truly unbeatable when it comes to sports. Speaking of things that can't be beat, the beaches in Carlsbad are undeniably amazing. Bradley and Gavin have a piece on the gorgeous beaches in Carlsbad. California is full of eye-catching attractions and opportunities, from the different cities with their own unique culture to the amount of activities to do in a certain place. Many things differ. However, here in Carlsbad, many flock to the beaches for the amazing surf, high waves, and awesome scenic views. For many beachgoers, it doesn't matter the time of day. The Carlsbad beaches are always open and ready to be enjoyed. Uh, it's one of my favorites, man. It's, I might be a little biased because I grew up here, but uh, um, it's it's one of the only cities in in North County, San Diego, that the main drag is is on the coast. You know, you you drive down PCH and you look to the west, and you're looking at the ocean. Although the beach is tons of fun. Safety should still be the number one priority for beachgoers as well as the lifeguards. And in the summer, we have two trucks on the beach, and we also have uh, four lifeguard towers that are open. And those are the guys that are watching the water, patrolling everyone, and just kind of maintaining safety down here. With how many people go to the beach, the lifeguards are sure to encounter dangerous jobs that require an incredible amount of bravery. Uh, I had a rescue over at the jetty. A uh, guy was riding his wave storm on like a seven foot day, shouldn't have been near the jetty and I had to go get him and we almost got pushed against the rocks but luckily uh, we got the boat out there and we got hopped on the boat and everyone was fine. Because of these amazing selfless lifeguards, beachgoers do not need to worry as much about danger at the beaches. It's family oriented. We can bring the little kids, these are my grandkids out here, everything from four to sixteen, we can bring them here and we're safe. And it's, it's beautiful and you listen to the roar. And there's great services in town. We went to a wonderful restaurant last night and we'll go to another one tonight. Overall, the Carlsbad community is a caring and supportive society that can brighten your day with something as simple as a smile. I like how people are nice. 
it's, it's nice to go to a place where I think they really cater to having the, the, the people that live here cater us. We're not feel, we're felt welcome, not like, why are you here? As you can see, the beaches of Carlsbad are stunning to the eye. Whether you're surfing or just relaxing on the sand, the beach is a place for everyone to come together and enjoy themselves. With camera operator Gavin Femright, this has been Bradley Weiss reporting for Falcon TV. The beach looks amazing, but today is not the best beach weather. The weather today is cloudy with a high of 65 and a low of 49 at night. The weekend is a little warmer with a high of 71 and a low of 53. For all the surfers out there, the waves are a perfect high of 2 to 5 feet and a cold water temperature of 54. That wraps up the weather update for today. Courtney, what do you like to do to pass the time on a cloudy day? On a cloudy day, I like to get stuff done while listening to some great music. Let's rock over to Leah and Luke, who have a feature on Carlsbad's own Spin Records. Spin Record Shop has been in the community for so long, and it brings people old and young all together to explore their amazing music because you get more than just music. You can get memorabilia, you can get posters, stickers, buttons. So it's more than just records. And then also people form relationships here too, you know, when they come in. And so it's more than a record shop, I would say. It's kind of a staple of the village. It's been here a long time, right? And uh, it's just, it's part of the vibe of, of, the, of the village. The music in this store ties every kind of person together because music is so universal and um, I think it brings anyone from older generations to younger generations because of the influx of popularity with vinyl. You have the nostalgia of people who used to buy records or albums because that's all that they could. There was no CDs or tapes or anything like that. And Then you have the younger generation coming in for that as well. So it's a, it brings all different types of people together. Community together, people of different cultures. Older people, younger people, it's kind of, I mean, it's how I always connect with my own kids. People love coming to the store for a variety of reasons. Put things out, new uh, releases also, because they can find such a variety of music, different types of music, and I think because also the employees that work here, they're really invested in music. A lot of people play music um, outside of working here too, so I think that there's, when you have a genuine, like a genuine love for music, as you can see, this shop offers an amazing variety of music no matter who the person is. With camera operator Luke Miller, this is Leah Menny reporting for Falcon TV. Thanks Leah and Luke, that sounds like a unique spot in Carlsbad. Carlsbad is a great place to be. I agree. Thinking of great places to be, Dylan's out in the heart of the village with questions for the residents of Carlsbad. Take it away Dylan. What are the perks of living here in Carlsbad? Does that answer your question? Why did you decide to move here to Carlsbad? Well, I grew up in Escondido, so coming out to the coast was always a dream of mine, so Carlsbad was the place I chose, and I loved it out here. What made you decide to live here in Carlsbad? Uh, my parents live here, and yeah, they moved out here about two years ago, so uh, living with my parents when I'm back home from school, so yeah. And I love the good weather and the beach, obviously, and the people here are great. Great to get that first-hand insight. Thanks, Dylan. That was a really fun show, and that's it for today. We'll, we'll see, see you next time on Falcon TV. TV.